today we're working on the inside of the van again we're looking at putting the partitions up around the kitchen area uh, between that and the bed and see where we get to we've put the partition in now um, work and the the worktop is back in ready for the, the cooker and the sink um, the partition has got to be stained yet uh, but that's all waxed and stained but uh, we're quite happy the way it's gone in and the way the profile's done we've got the the back splash back to to put on as well but uh, it's looking good um, just got the board on the profile on the profile there on the, uh, the other side of the van to to do this afternoon I think we're losing the light so I think that's probably going to be about uh, all we can do. What I've done now is just mocked up, it's still loose but just position the uh, splash back so you can have a look at exactly what uh, the kitchen unit's going to look like. Um, obviously we're going to have a, another uh, wood finish along the uh, windowsill. Um, but, uh, Quite pleased with that. So we're just looking at doing the profile for the second partition over the fridge. And we've just cut along the, the profile, just measuring up to cut the length. And the next job is to look at the uh, partition on the other side of the van. We've mocked up uh, a plywood um, former to look at the profile and we transferred that onto the piece of wood and we've cut it so the next step is to offer it up and make sure that uh, everything's fitting correctly so this is where it's going to be going we've measured up it's not as long because of the uh, pedestal for the fridge um, but uh, hopefully we've managed to get that profile up the van Fairly so accurate. Cut the profile. Um, we're just now offering up the partition. Um, it's going to be a bit of fine tuning just to get it to sit nicely and neatly. Um, and we're, we'll have the two sides in. So we've got the one of the partitions in. We've just got to extend it into make it a little bit wider so we've got a, a filler and we've got uh, that's the sort of depth we need um, and we've just got uh, we're making slots to put, put some biscuits in and just lining up there where we're going to put some screws to hold it all together so we've now put the partition in on that side we're extending it comes right down it's screwed in from the back so it's nice and nice and level the profile wasn't as good as uh, the other side but uh, we can live with that um, now it's time to put the fridge in and start looking at uh, so the surround for place that. the fridge in where it's going and just about to look at putting the support on this side and then looking at the uh, worktop over the top but uh, as a whole I think uh, pretty impressed with that pretty pleased we've now fabricated the partition between the sofa and the fridge but uh, we've got a slight problem with doing um, all the bits over a period of time uh, our measurements are slightly out, only by about five mils, um, but it means that we can't actually fit the uh, fridge in at the moment. So we are going to have to look at that and work out how we can get that back. We have some ideas, um, just moving the sofa up a fraction, hopefully we can get to what, we, what we actually need. So here's the partition in place. Um, looks good. It's, well, it's only placed in, thank goodness. It's quite a a hefty bit of, uh, bit of wood uh, shape wise it's quite uh, intriguing but that fits 
perfectly where it's meant to it doesn't leave us enough gap here as I was saying we're about uh, five mil out um, the problem we had with this not fitting because the the, the gap was five mil out um, one solution was to move the whole of the sofa towards the end towards the cab uh, but we thought an easier way would be to actually cut down this batten um, so this bit here we've recessed all the way along and it fits it's nice and snug Top for the fridge, over the fridge. Uh, we had to do it because of the constraints of the, the, the saw of the table top saw we got I had to cut it down in a couple of uh, sections um, we're just now looking at putting some holes in for the screws to uh, fix it to to the van um, so far do so good. screw holes um, that's at an angle nicely but it does help to have the uh, the right tools for the job so we've now got the uh, fridge in and the worktop all nice and secure um, that's all that side virtually completed now we've been looking at the the work the kitchen worktop and again we're just working out getting things sorted the, the splash back on this side getting it as neat as we can um, I've decided that a, a piece of wood across across the back might be a bit of a problem um, a this corner this corner is going to be a look right dog's ear if we can't get it exactly perfect so I've decided that the splash back along this side is just going to go up to this height we'll leave the kitchen the windowsill as it is so we just now got to cut it down and there's this backboard just to cut down uh, here and here just to get things perfectly matched up and um, then end, all this can be screwed in this side of the splash back now down it's level at the back it's level at the front uh, so we've just got to drop the backboard a little bit in that, that area there and uh, so I think that's going to be the, uh, the best way to deal with this corner we had hoped to shape the back piece of wood um, and fill that in but I think that was just going to be too too uh, complicated for us uh, as I said if we don't get it didn't get it right at this corner here then it would look like a dog's dinner but at the moment it looks nice and square and really nice and neat all the boards back in everything's done put some uh, surrounds to the, the back cupboard the worktops finally fixed in permanently um, we're just now looking at fixing the splash back uh, around there we're going to sink the screws and then put little sort of um, uh, I don't know fillers in uh, to into the uh, into the holes sink is in place the kit the cookers in place we need to look at where we put in the uh, tap and then that's the kitchen unit kitchen done so fridge done the partitions done and so we're, we've got doors and fascias to do but that's really um, a later job uh, let's get everything fixed in and plumbed in and then we're, we're we finished today off by fixing in the splashbacks we've still got the plugs to make and fill to fill in the recess holes for the screws the taps in sinks in cookers in um, so what's left is cupboard doors uh, a couple of sides and fascias uh, but uh, on the whole we're ready to go